What's up YouTube? Connor fans, Photoshop fans, this is Paulie G and in this tutorial we're gonna make Connor McBuffer. So McGregor's gonna blow up. Here in Adobe Photoshop we have Connor McGregor, the normal photo, recently released. A lot of people really like this photo. It showed Connor looking big, probably about welterweight, 170 pounds and ready to come back and, and do something at a higher weight class. And that's what a lot of people think and looks good. So we went already to the liquify tool. Pretty simple, you go to filter, liquify, choose the tool, pick the size and the pressure that you like, start where you like, see if it works. The background's gonna matter, you want it choose something that's gonna have a background that's not gonna get stretched out and look weird. If it does, th there's probably a way to fix it anyway. In this photo, I'm starting with Connor's left arm. We've already done his tricep and his shoulder, going down to his forearm. And we're starting with that black punching bag. White line, but we're really stretching Connor out here. We're gonna make him McBuffer we're gonna pop eye him out, make him look huge without looking too ridiculous. Here on the other side of his forearm with his tattoos, we're already buffing Connor out. So far, looking pretty good. And you can see his left arm is already about twice the size of his right arm. His bicep and his tricep have really yeah, exploded kind of looks like a little bit like a synthol case right now that that's what we're going with so Connor released this photo see this little part right here where with his shoulder it kind of bothered me right away it didn't look right to me just the skin do, doesn't look right something's kind of wrong with the tone here the contrast ah, the gradient of the skin just doesn't look right so I'm gonna buff him out anyway we're gonna go with what we have, buff out his neck. And now we're gonna go over to his right side, start buffing that out. You can see the background here is kind of like a mesh, kind of like a fence, kind of like a cage-ish, silver background that with that window right there. That background's a little harder to work with because there's a pattern. And as you stretch it out, stretch out Connor's arm, but the, the pattern on, on the other side gets kind of bent and the angles go wrong. We might have to fix that later on. Connor here on his bicep, you can see that that mesh is kind of bending. Doesn't really look like say the black punching bag where you can't tell, you can kind of see the, the background stretching. So that'd be one giveaway. Whatever, we're making him bigger and we're gonna do this as well as we can. You can see now his legs look skinny. The background for his legs is, is different. It's this red matte. So his legs look pretty skinny here. They might be a little harder to work with. I think in the end, we're gonna be able to work this one out. I'm gonna pause the video here and press fast forward and I'm gonna come back in, in a few minutes We'll see how this looks. We're back. Connor's looking pretty big at this point. He's looking pretty huge. This is the biggest Conor McGregor I've ever seen. So what we're gonna do here is we're really gonna try to just buff him out good, make make him look like uh, you know, about almost 200 pounds, 195 pounds. Conor's five foot nine, amazing at changing weight. When Conor was down at 145 pounds, he looked like he was starving to death. Let's see, look at that one little area. I'm gonna go try to fix that now but it's, it's not gonna work out. I'm gonna show you right now that, that that little area doesn't look right. That skin, there's no reason for that shadow to be there. 
You can try to put a tattoo there. Nothing's going to work. It's just always going to look kind of funny. I had to leave that the way it was and just continue buffing Conor McGregor out. Nice and slowly, watching the background and trying to get a nice, even stretch. Using the liquify tool in Photoshop, going back over everything and kind of just trying to make sure that everything matches up and doesn't really look too synthalled out. Although that's the way it is. Buffed out his hands so his hands are bigger. And really right now just going back to his arms, making them bigger because I think there's some stretch we could still do there without making it look too ridiculous. Making his body wide out and then just going back and forth over the entire image to make sure that everything just looks even and kind of crisp and nice on the eyes. So we're going to really buff him out here and I'm going to fast forward it again and come back at the end of the video and talk to you guys about how we made Conor Big Buffer. I had to come back for this, that part next to Connor's right tricep where we have that fence mesh, silver metallic fence mesh. It kind of got bent in right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the clone stamp tool and we're gonna try to find a good point in the mesh and go back and kind of just make that look better on the eye. So I just had to do that because that's really where the error comes in when you're using the liquify tool. It's the background that's really gonna take the, the most of the damage in, in the effect and make it look less realistic. So if you can go over the background like we're doing here with the clone stamp tool and just, it, when you get to the small edges, just do it smaller and smaller and just kind of make sure that you don't lose any of that background. And, and if you do, at least it looks okay you're gonna be in a, in a better place at making it look realistic. So just did that right there. And since that's over with, I'm gonna say goodbye again and we're gonna fast forward and go to the end of the video. Pretty much all the Iranian Hulk did was something like this. Just really became an expert at the liquify tool in Photoshop and really made sure that the photos that he was sending out there, nobody saw the original. They only saw the Photoshop, the edited versions. And the original version must have been just deleted and never put out there, you know, get rid of him because if somebody sees the, the original version, they'll be able to tell that it was Photoshop. So right now, playing with the background, this red background that Connor's in, trying to just finish this photo off, make it look perfect, go into the areas that I feel 
might need a little bit of help. And sometimes when you're doing that, you realize that you're not making it any better. So you just press backwards and, and get rid of what you did. But if you check Conor McGregor out here and you check it compared to the original image, he's definitely a lot bigger. And it, it doesn't look that fake, if you ask me. I, I would like to know your opinion on that. Check out some of my other videos. You can always follow me on social media. On my other YouTube channel, MMA Meltdown, on Twitter, and on Facebook, I have a pretty big following on there. So if you want to check out at PaulieGMMA at Facebook or on Twitter. And thanks. This was fun. See you guys in the next video.